Oh, shoot. It just said I spent 1,500 gold. I think I just spent 1,500 gold. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with more Tap Sports Baseball. Last time I talked a little bit about how I had a couple of holes in my lineup, so today we're going to be pulling some packs to fill in some of those holes and round out the team a little bit. And it is the perfect day to be doing it because there are a couple of players that I really, really love uh, in these packs. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're starting out with a, uh, a gift right away, which is two lucky number seven box twos. By the way, speaking of which, how, how, how coincidental is this? Club name, 777, lucky number seven box. And look, look at the players, look at the animation, 777. It's made in heaven. Didn't mean to rhyme there, but that's okay. Before we get into it, let's do a quick little recap of the team. Not much has changed. The only thing that really is different is um, I saw earlier today that the player of the week card was Taylor Mal or Tyler Malley, excuse me, uh, from Cincinnati. I kind of needed a starting pitcher, so I went and I pulled one back and I got him in my first pack, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, though, pretty much everything else is exactly the same. The only other difference is that I did get Danny Jansen from the login bonus, so I have him in my DH spot now. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, maybe Steven Duggar, um, but everything else is pretty much the same. Pretty much all my relievers and pitchers and stuff are the same, so not a ton of difference. So we're going to be opening some packs today. Uh, first and foremost, we have two first round draft pick packs. I'm going to open those, and then we'll maybe do like two or three number one draft picks, but we're also going to open this number one pick multi-draft that I have. Um, I gotta be totally honest, I don't know where I got this from. It was some sort of reward. Maybe it was a club reward or something like that. I don't really remember. Then, of course, the main attraction, these lucky number seven boxes. The reason why I was so excited to do this pack opening today and try and fill in a couple of those gaps on my team is because if you take a look at my team, uh, if you go to my lineup, everyone on the team is five stars or four and a half stars, at least in the the batting lineup. But the big one that sticks out right here, Luis Urias, Urias, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. 64 overall, he's a five star because he's my keeper player. So he's like far and away the worst uh, player I have in the lineup right now. Um, and we really need to fix that. So my hope here is that I'll be able to get one of the players that I saw in these lucky number seven boxes 315 max overall, Tim Anderson at shortstop. Tim Anderson is a dog, by the way. So I think it'd be a really cool card to have. Obviously, as we pull these packs, we're gonna have a chance to get the Ronald Acuna. We have a pretty good chance at these guys too. I think we're just gonna jump straight into these lucky number seven boxes. I think we're gonna start out here and we'll see what we get and then we'll go from there depending. That'll kind of depend on, uh, or that'll kind of determine where we go afterwards. So let's start with the regular box. And we got Medina. Okay. Well, apparently he's good enough to be in my lineup already. <laughs> so I guess that's not too bad, but not the player we're looking for, obviously. But I guess I can't complain if he's good enough to be in my lineup right now. So all right, let's keep going. Let's do one of the box number twos. Come on, baby. Okay. Medina again. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't love getting this player, but if we're going to get it, you get that additional experience points, those additional experience points, which is always helpful, and uh, you don't have to pay to level them up, so. All right, last shot at it for right now. Tim Anderson, Tim Anderson, crossing our fingers, crossing our fingers. Ah, all right, experience. No big deal. We'll go and open some of these regular player packs, and then we'll go from there, so. If you're into TAP Sports Baseball, if you're going to be playing along this year in TAP 22, uh, give me a subscribe because I'm going to be posting some stuff to this channel, updating my team, giving some sort of like tips and tricks, talking about some different stuff. We're going to do some challenge videos. So I'm just going to be trying to post as I kind of play and pick up the game and play a little bit more and more. So uh, feel free to subscribe down below. I think we're going to start out with the first round draft pick packs and then we'll go from there. I don't expect these guys to be anything great, but I think you can get like four star players. So yeah, no, nothing there. And then let's open the last one just to make sure. Oh wow, a couple of pitchers. Okay, all right, four and a half star reliever. I can't really complain about that. I mean, he's, I guess my second best pitcher that I think I have 
two five stars actually, so let me go check. 178, they put in Medina. Okay, so like slight upgrades there for us. Um, not a problem, I mean those weren't really the main boxes I guess that we were kind of going for, so. Let's pull open this number one pick multi-draft. Um, it looks like we get five packs and there's gonna be at least one four star player, so. Hopefully it's a pitcher, uh, if that's all we get. Oh, shoot. It just said I spent 1,500 gold. I think I just spent 1,500 gold. <laughs> well, let's open the pack, let's see. Three star, nothing doing. Three and a half, nothing doing. Three and a half. Brad Miller's a four star. Harrison Bader, okay. Okay, no, whew. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I was like, I would never, ever, ever have paid 1500 gold for that pack. That's so, okay, and it didn't even give me the reward. Okay, whew, that little notification scared me. I was like, I did not want to spend 1500 gold on that pack, because you can always get stuff like that, so. If we spend 600 gold on the lucky, lucky number seven box two, we actually will get another one. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the regular lucky number seven box, rather, which has better odds for Anderson, it looks like. Yeah, it's double the odds. It's basically the same sort of thing. Um, so yeah, screw it, let's do it. Let's go for the better odds and, I don't know, let's give it a shot, right? I mean, we may as well. Okay, 600, first pack, let's see. <laughs> Katina again, okay. All right, well, we're leveling him, leveling, la, 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 la. leveling him up for free, that's for sure. Okay, so we get a number one pick, and we're gonna get this uh, box two. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Here's kind of our moment of truth here. I'm not gonna spend any more gold on it, I don't think. Um, we might pull open some of those number one draft pick packs and just see if maybe we can get someone um, at shortstop, but hopefully we won't even need to do that. Ah, just experience. Just experience. Unsuccessful pack pulling, but before we get to the end of the video, I actually want to show you something funny. I was just playing earlier today, and the player of the week card always gets big bonuses for the club events for the week that it's in. And so I was playing earlier, and you can see <laughs> by, uh, by, by the amount of points. As you can see, I just kept using ice wraps. <laughs> To keep starting my player of the week card so that I would just keep getting more and more bonuses so it's a little heavily weighted in my favor but I also thought it was funny because let me go to progress rewards yeah we reached the progress rewards in like probably I don't know 10 minutes um, it's a multi event today and I just kept doing the prime event as you can see by the amount of points we have um, and so it's super easy, and in fact, I can actually show you, if you just go through an autoplay. Okay, so as you can see now, I only got like 1,200 club points. This should be Mali. So, <laughs> let's see, I hope he has a good game. No hitter through three, through four, through five, through six, through seven. Oh, uh, is he gonna throw a no hitter? Oh my God, wait a minute. Let me check the stats. <laughs> it wasn't even a no-hitter. He threw a perfect game. No walks, 15 strikeouts, no hits, no earned runs, nine innings pitched. That's insane. So as you can see, <laughs> compared to like the 1,200 points I was getting before, I got 9.3 million uh, <laughs> from that one. If I had like Anderson or honestly any of those other guys in there, it probably would have been even more. Uh, <laughs> than what I got right there. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, if I would have upgraded the reliever we got, who was it that we got? Yeah, if I would have upgraded Adonis Medina, I bet he probably gets bonuses too. Um, so I might have might have missed out on, uh, might have missed out on a little bit there. But. So obviously not a super successful pack opening day from us today, but you know what, it's not too bad, honestly, all things considered. You know, we still have that hole to plug, we still kind of need another pitcher. We didn't get any luck with that today, but the good thing is these packs rotate uh, ever so often. They give you a lot of gifts. 
whenever you are playing the game more and more. So maybe I'll even get one of those gifted packs. So I'll stick with it. That's really the main position that we're looking for, shortstop and uh, starting pitching really at this point. Okay, folks, thanks for sticking around, and I will catch you guys in a couple of days.